Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Arctic char. Freshly caught and grilled or smoked fish, a staple in Greenlandic cuisine. Arctic char is a cold water fish species native to the Arctic and subarctic regions of North America, Europe, and Asia. It is a member of the salmon family, salmonidae, and is closely related to both salmon and trout. Arctic char is highly prized for its delicate flavor, tender flesh, and versatility in cooking. Here are some key characteristics and information about Arctic char. Characteristics. Appearance. Arctic char vary in color depending on their environment, but they typically have a silvery sheen with pink, red, or orange spots on their sides. During spawning, their colors can become more vibrant and intense. Size. Arctic char can vary in size, with adults typically ranging from 1 to 10 pounds, 0.45 to 4.5 kilograms, although some individuals can grow larger. Flavor. The flavor of Arctic char is often described as mild and delicate, with a subtle sweetness. It is less oily than salmon but still has a rich, satisfying taste. Culinary uses. Arctic char is a versatile fish that can be prepared in various ways, including grilling. Grilling Arctic char fillets or steaks is a popular cooking method that enhances the fish's natural flavors. A simple marinade or seasoning can be used to complement the char's taste. Baking and roasting. Arctic char can be baked or roasted in the oven, often with herbs, citrus, and olive oil to keep it moist and flavorful. Smoking. Smoking Arctic char imparts a delightful smoky flavor to the fish, making it a popular choice for smoked fish enthusiasts. Pan frying. Pan frying Arctic char in a skillet with butter or oil creates a crispy skin while keeping the flesh tender. Sushi and sashimi. Due to its clean and mild flavor, Arctic char is occasionally used in sushi and sashimi preparations. Ceviche. Arctic char can be used in ceviche, a dish where raw fish is marinated in citrus juices, often with added ingredients like onions, cilantro, and peppers. Sustainability. Arctic char is considered a sustainable choice for seafood, as it is often farmed using environmentally responsible practices. Farming helps reduce pressure on wild populations and ensures a consistent supply of this delicious fish. Arctic char is highly regarded for its culinary qualities and is appreciated by seafood lovers for its unique taste. Reindeer meat. Often served as steaks or stews, this is a common source of protein in Greenland. Reindeer meat, also known as caribou meat in North America, is a traditional and important source of sustenance for indigenous Arctic and subarctic communities, including the Sami people in Scandinavia and various indigenous groups in North America. Reindeer are well adapted to the harsh conditions of the northern regions and have been hunted and herded for their meat, hides, and antlers for generations. Here is some information about reindeer meat. Characteristics. Flavor. Reindeer meat is often described as lean, tender, and mild in flavor. It has a slightly sweet and earthy taste, with some comparing it to venison, deer meat, but milder. Texture. Due to its low-fat content, reindeer meat is lean and can be more tender than beef. However, it can become tough if overcooked, so it's important to prepare it carefully. Culinary uses. Reindeer meat is a versatile ingredient used in a variety of traditional dishes and modern recipes. Some common ways to prepare and enjoy reindeer meat include stews. Reindeer meat is often used in hearty stews, where slow cooking helps tenderize the meat and infuse it with flavor. Grilling and roasting. Reindeer steaks or fillets can be grilled or roasted with herbs, spices, and marinades to enhance their flavor. Sausages. Ground reindeer meat is used to make sausages, including sausages blended with other meats and seasonings. Smoking. Reindeer meat can be smoked to preserve it and add a smoky flavor, making it a popular choice for smoked sausages and charcuterie. Carpaccio. Thin slices of raw or lightly seared reindeer meat can be used in carpaccio, a dish typically served with olive oil, lemon juice, and seasonings. Jerky. Reindeer jerky is a popular snack, particularly in regions where reindeer are hunted. Rawest. Fermented fish, typically dried and aged in the open air, giving it a pungent odor and intense flavor. Rawest is a traditional food preparation method in Greenland and the Faroe Islands that involves fermenting and drying fish and sometimes meat. It is a unique and culturally significant method of food preservation in these regions, allowing people to store and consume fish and meat throughout the long, harsh winters. Here's more information about rawest and how it is used. Preparation method. Fermentation. The rawest 
process typically begins with the fermentation of fish or meat. Common choices for rawest include fish such as cod or other whitefish, as well as lamb or reindeer meat. These are usually cut into small pieces or strips. Air drying. After the initial fermentation stage, the fish or meat is hung or placed in open air structures to air dry. These structures, often called racethis or fiskihis, fermentation and drying houses, are designed to facilitate the drying process while protecting the food from insects and other contaminants. Aging. The fish or meat is left to age and dry for an extended period, which can range from several weeks to several months. During this time, beneficial bacteria and molds develop on the surface of the food, helping to preserve it. Characteristics and use. The rawest method imparts distinctive characteristics to the fermented and dried food. Flavor. The fermentation process gives the food a strong, pungent aroma and flavor. This flavor is an acquired taste and may be quite intense, making rawest food an acquired taste. Texture. The drying process results in a firm and chewy texture. The food is often sliced thinly before consumption. Long shelf life. Once properly, rawest, the food can be stored for an extended period without refrigeration, making it a valuable source of sustenance during harsh winters or for long journeys. Suazat. A traditional Greenlandic soup made with meat, often seal or reindeer, rice or barley, and root vegetables. Suazat, also spelled as swasat, or suasat, is a traditional Greenlandic soup that holds a significant place in the culinary culture of Greenland. It is often considered Greenland's national dish, and its name translates to southern people's soup. Suazad is a hearty and nourishing soup that has been enjoyed by the Inuit people for generations. Here's more about Suazad. Ingredients. The ingredients for Suazad can vary depending on what is available, but the key components typically include meat. Traditionally, Suazad is made with seal meat or other types of wild game such as reindeer or muskox. In modern versions, it may also include beef or lamb. Stock. The base of suazad is a rich and flavorful broth made from boiling the meat with water. The meat is often left on the bone for added flavor. Root vegetables. Potatoes and carrots are commonly used to add heartiness to the soup. Onions. Onions are typically sautéed and added to the soup for flavor. Barley or rice. Some variations of suazad include barley or rice to thicken the soup and add texture. Fat. Reindeer fat or other animal fats are traditionally used to add richness to the soup. Herbs and spices. Suazad is seasoned with bay leaves and sometimes thyme or other herbs. It is usually lightly salted. Preparation. The preparation of suazad involves several steps. Meat preparation. The meat is cut into bite-sized pieces and simmered in water until tender, creating a flavorful stock. The fat is sometimes rendered and used for sautéing. Sautéed onions. Onions are sautéed in the rendered fat until they become translucent and fragrant. Adding vegetables. Potatoes and carrots are typically added to the pot along with the sautéed onions. The barley or rice may also be added at this stage. Seasoning. Bay leaves and other herbs are added for flavor. The soup is typically lightly salted. Simmering. The soup is simmered until the vegetables and grains are tender and the flavors have melded together. Kangamiat shrimp. Greenland is known for its shrimp, which can be prepared in various ways. Kangamiad is a region in western Greenland, and Kangamiad shrimp refers to the locally caught shrimp in this area. Shrimp fishing is an important industry in Greenland, with the cold Arctic waters around the island providing an ideal environment for shrimp to thrive. Greenlandic shrimp, including those from Kangamiad, are known for their sweet and delicate flavor. Here's more information about Kangamiad shrimp and how they are commonly prepared and enjoyed. Characteristics. Flavor. Kangamiad shrimp are prized for their sweet and briny flavor, which comes from the pristine Arctic waters where they are caught. Size. These shrimp are typically small to medium-sized, making them ideal for a variety of culinary applications. Culinary uses. Kangamiad shrimp can be prepared and enjoyed in various ways, including boiled or steamed. Shrimp are often boiled or steamed until they turn pink and firm. They can then be served with a dipping sauce or used in salads and cold dishes. Grilled or sautéed. Shrimp can be grilled or sautéed with garlic, butter, and herbs for a simple and delicious preparation. Curries and stir-fries. Shrimp are a popular ingredient in curries and stir-fry dishes, where they absorb the flavors of the sauce and other ingredients. Pasta dishes. 
Shrimp are frequently used in pasta dishes like shrimp scampi or shrimp alfredo. Sushi and sashimi. High quality, fresh kangamiya shrimp can be used as a topping for sushi or sashimi. Shrimp cocktail. Chilled, boiled shrimp are often served with cocktail sauce as an appetizer. Cold salads. Shrimp can be added to cold salads, including seafood salads, pasta salads, and green salads. Kangamiya shrimp are highly regarded for their quality and taste, and they are often sought after by chefs and seafood enthusiasts for their culinary versatility. When visiting Greenland or dining in a restaurant that specializes in local seafood, trying kangamiya shrimp can be a delightful way to savor the flavors of the Arctic waters.